By the governors of Oregon and Washington, it's for educators and healthcare employees to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Lisa Balick is asking tough questions tonight about the hundreds of teachers and healthcare workers right here in the Northwest who may be off the job as soon as next week. Across Oregon and Washington, we're learning that there could be thousands of healthcare workers who will miss the October 18th cutoff, most making the choice not to get vaccinated after the mandates were announced back in August. In Washington state, the hospital association tells me 88% of hospital staff are fully vaccinated statewide, but without 100%, there could be changes coming. There have been um, considerations of closing down or really limiting outpatient services, that there'll be longer wait times for services. There, we could see some caps in inpatient admissions. In Oregon, Legacy Health says 95% of its staff is fully vaccinated, another 1% in progress. I found out those with approved medical or religious exemptions will not be working face to face with patients. And the 700 who are not vaccinated with no exemption are now on leave. They do have the option of getting their jobs back if they get vaccinated. Is it going to be harder to get in to see a doctor? Is it going to be a longer wait time if you go to the hospital? Those are contingency plans that we've already put in place. I mean, I think, frankly, patients have sort of seen the effects of staffing throughout the pandemic with the high percentage of unvaccinated patients that we've seen. So we will continue to do all we can to minimize any disruption for patients. Providence Hospital reporting 90% fully vaccinated with another 5% underway or in the exemption process. Today, I also took a closer look at the updated vaccination data of licensed healthcare workers statewide in Oregon. 82% vaccinated as of about a week ago. But as you can see, it varies depending on the type of license. And this information may give a sense of worker shortages ahead. For example, showing about 25% of certified nursing assistants and EMTs are not vaccinated. Lisa Balick, Coin6 News.